Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and this is Parky's Shorts, a series which will allow me to play a variety of games on my channel suggested by you. Every one or two episodes, I'll play a new game, and if it gets a brilliant response from you guys, it may be played as a full series on my channel. Today is a very special day, because I this is the first video I'm actually recording in a new flat, which means the acoustics are probably going to be awful, because I'm not used to it yet and I haven't changed any of my settings. However, this is going to be a bit of a tester episode, and I know that we've played this on Parker Shorts before, but because I was a massive derp at the end after re-watching and reading your comments, I want to do another uh, another episode of really, really classic Super Wagon adventure again. <laughs> what am I on about? Sorry. Right, okay, so let's get into this. Last time we tried a few of the different modes, including the general, the general adventure mode, even, which was just us progressing through a random storyline, and then we unlocked the bear shooting mode on the survival. We're going to go through the adventure again. And in classic style, the text is going to disappear incredibly quickly. Okay, so our crew... Ah, oh, Anne! Yes, blue-haired, mutton chop Anne. I mean, <laughs> obviously, the settlers of America, when they first joined, all the women had sideburns. Now, if you didn't know this, this was actually one of the major features of um, female fashion. It's a height of fashion at the time. So we're going to go with this. It's like Marge Simpson on steroids. Okay, the standard. We did unlock the fairy tale, the fantasy even. Um, we're going to see if we can unlock a couple more of these today. Um, the fast sounds incredible. The invisible. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to go with the fantasy, obviously. Best, best um, carriage, indeed. Have to actually remember how to shoot. Okay, water came down something. Oh, he's got an illness. Oh, good. What am I actually holding there? Is that like a magic wand? Okay, seeing some animals in the upcoming clearing, they are... They hurried ahead. Need to stuck up on food. Oh, yes, I remember now. Because this actually just completely destroys animals instead of letting you collect them and get food, which is not particularly helpful. But, you know, skunks are scum anyway, so we don't want them. We're just, you know, instead of collecting food, we're just killing them for no reason. We saw a unicorn in the clearing. Now, I remember this. The unicorn seemed to be leading them somewhere on the other hand. They needed... Oh, on the other hand, they need something. Follow. We should shoot the unicorn, because I remember this. There we go. The posse of bandits ambushed them. A bullet hit Walter directly in the head, in the heart even, killing him. God damn it, not Walter. Oh, God. You'd think this would be made easy by my diagonal shooting, but no, it's because I'm rubbish. The first playthrough of this is always a bit dodgy, let's be honest. There we go. Machine gun on bandit truck. Oh dear. Now, if I remember correctly, the best way of doing this was like this, wasn't it? LOL, trolling the game. Ow. The hell? Oh god. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Did we get a power-up of, like, a big missile attack or something? That's not particularly helpful. Oh, God! And died from blood loss after a bullet passed through her chest. Not the best playthrough. We got a bit further last time. I think the idea is you should perhaps follow the unicorn into victory. Because as we know from my series on... What's it called? Cards? Card Hunter! Yes, that's it. It's been so long, I can't even remember what I'm doing on my channel. It's going to take me a little while to get back into this. As we learned on Card Hunter, the unicorn is the victory animal. So... Follow the unicorn to victory, is what I say. James, yes. But I'm not blonde. I know we can edit these. I'm not really that bothered, though, to be honest. I just want to get into it. Mick. Yes, male. Oh, wow, you can really customise these, actually, can't you? James. All right, look, this is fine. I'm not going to get into this. Oh, apparently I have to. Yes, Scott. Scott is a woman. There we go, Perfect. I'm thinking we maybe go for the standard, but to be honest, the fairy tale is pretty good, just from the fact that it can shoot sideways. I don't know. Let's do this. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they're hurried ahead, they need to stuck up on food for a long journey. Well, this doesn't actually do anything at all. You can get a shotgun, though, which is pretty nice. Oh shit, this actually allows us to pick up the animals, that's quite useful. No matter what I said earlier. And a bow, look. Ah, oh, this must be what we picked up last time. Okay, a posse of bandits interrupt the hunt. Owned. Ah, oh, look at this. Well, we did get hit, but it's fine. Ah, there we go. 
It's all about the dodging. He says, getting hit instantly. Best game ever. Actually, this game is pretty good. I would recommend it for the price, definitely. Apparently we're eating the horses that the bandits are dropping, is that right? That's a bit weird. There we go, trying to escape the bandits are instantly roped into a cave. Oh no, I haven't seen this before, actually. Oh god, spiders! Oh my god! Okay, so you can't kill the spiders, just avoid them. Good to know. Oh, there's bats and everything. Everyone's about to die. Okay, finally they find their way out of the cave. Scott left the wagons to look for wild berries. Oh god damn it, Scott. Why why the obsession with wild berries? On her way back to the wagon, Scott noticed an entrance to the cave. She was optimistic this cave would be different, so she, s she decided to investigate. This is going to go well, isn't it? What the hell is in here? Is it going to be a troll? It's very dark inside. Upon lighting a torch, she found it was filled with giant spiders. Oh my god, okay. This is not a good place to be. Scott, what are you doing? As a lady, I do not- Oh god. <laughs> Scott just killed by a spider. When Scott did not return to the wagon, they decided to carry on without her. They reached a river crossing. Right, now this is where we got last time, where I was a massive derp. James had the brilliant idea to jump over the river. <laughs> yes, that is a good idea. No, we, we know from experience we need to ford the river. They made the possibly wise decision to ford the river. There are boulders in the river. Run! Oh, no! Why am I so bad at this? Okay, now this is where we got to. Oh, God. No! <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, the one thing I could say is that because this game is so randomly generated, sometimes you have an easier ride to get to the uh, different areas of the game, which is fine, but some other times it does just make you rage. Mostly because I'm an idiot and can't play it properly. Probably. Pro properly. <laughs> or speak English, apparently. Okay, they travelled in their trusty wagon. The standard. Oh, that lag. Why is it lagging? There we go. Right, the fantasy magical. They set off into the forest. Seeing some animals, they want to stock up on food. Yes, we know this game, thank you very much. Day 11. What have we been doing for the first 11 days? Slightly worrying. Health. Not that we needed it. A more useful power-up would be nice. It's fine, yes, like this, whatever the he Oh my god, okay, yeah, flamethrower would be good. Bandits! This is going to be easy. He says, taking needless damage. There we go. Perfect. Oh, we're doing alright. Sort of. Machine gun arm bandit. Oh god, this thing. It'd be nice if we had more of a power-up than that, wouldn't it? Okay, I remember we defeated it last time like this, so this is what I'm going to do. I know we take some damage when it moves around like this. Oh, did, was that health? Oh my god, what is happening? Okay, the magic wand seems to be <laughs> running low on magic. Really? Okay, Mick left the wagons to look for wild berries, as you do again. Why is everyone obsessed with wild berries? God damn it, Mick. Okay, on his way back to the wagon, Mick noticed an entrance to the cave with the bloody spiders in it. It was very dark inside. I wonder if there's spiders here, for chance. Ah, oh dear. Oh, it's filled with guns and ammunition. Nice! Mick returns the wagon with the guns. The magic wand recharged. Oh, so that was actually really useful. Thank you, Mick. You did something useful. They reached the river crossing. And this is where we all die horribly. No, James. Stop trying to jump the, over the river. That is not helpful. I, wanna s I do want to see what happens if we jump over the river, though. We haven't done that yet. All right, they got a running start and leapt from the top of the ledge. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, somehow they safely landed on the other side. Oh my god, so I've been doing it the wrong way. Okay, we've entered the, the Great Plains. They came across a large herd of buffalo. Die, buffalo. Thank god we got those machine guns. Cooked to death by his own... Wait, what? A bison rams you... Okay, whatever. Kill all the buffalo. Yes, most food ever. Crush the buffalo. Oh dear. 
We're on our own. What's her name? Oh, Jesus Christ, that made me jump. No! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, dear. I choked to death on my own vomit. Well, that's lovely. Ah. Uh, this game. I want to play some of these other survival modes. Okay, let's start the adventure again. We got a lot further that time. So we should not ford the river. That's actually a really stupid way to go. It just sounded as if... Um, it just sounded as if if you like jumped over it, you'd just instantly die. But apparently not. This game doesn't use uh, logic in that sort of sense. But that's what's fun about it. Okay, so one more go. Let's see what we can do. I like that it is different every single time. Um, like today, I've seen lots of things that I haven't seen before on this, which is absolutely wonderful. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a sniper rifle. Oh god, that was really not helpful. Let's go machine gun. Machine guns are good. Stock up on the food. Oh, not the skunks. There you go. They saw a unicorn in the clearing. Damn unicorn. So this time, he seems to be leading them somewhere. They need to get all the meat they could. Let's follow. They followed the unicorn into a magical field. Ah. It was a unicorn ambush. Die, unicorns. Goddamn battle tactics. How dare you. Oh my god, what the hell? Why is this so... The unicorns are so deadly. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're actually managing to avoid them. Then a dragon attacked them. Oh god, yeah, I remember this now. Okay, so just avoid these things. Scott was turned into ash. Oh, good. Uh, this is really not the way to do it. What am I doing, Parky? Stop being an idiot! No! <laughs> not Mick! Mick, he was my best friend. He died. Oh, dear. Mick died. His honour intact. <laughs> His purnus burned to a cinder. Okay, it seems like a good place to end it. If you enjoyed the episode, even though it's been a bit weird and hopefully not too strange after my long stressful break away of moving, then please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Also leave support in terms of ratings. Uh, this is my first video getting back into this after a little while, so hopefully it was good. <laughs> Probably not. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.